it's Heidi here. I wanted to share with you a few steps that might make your life easier when logging into your volunteer profile and entering hours, uh, signing up for volunteer roles, as well as updating your contact details. So first of all, if you forget your username or password, all you need to do is select this button, as identify if it's your password or your username you forgot, and then it will send you an email so that you can reset it. I'm going to go back to the login page now and sign in. Once you're logged in, you might find um, something a, a little bit interesting. If you volunteer for more than one organization, you will see a banner from the different organizations you volunteer with, um, which scrolls, so now you see the VBGA, as well as all the opportunities if you scroll down the page for the different organizations you are with. And here we see the Vancouver Botanical Gardens Association. You'll also see files that we've uploaded here to help you with quick tutorials. So from this main page, you can see your summary of overall volunteer hours for the lifetime or year. Lifetime is within this system. And the second tab is our opportunities. So this is where you will sign up for special events, so one-off type volunteer opportunities such as Festival of Lights, but you will also be able to sign up for ongoing roles. So right now we're looking for administrative assistant in adult education. If you select that link, you'll be able to see the full position description. And then if you're interested, you sign up. You can also withdraw. It's a little bit different if you're wanting to sign up for an event like Festival of Lights that has multiple shifts which you can sign up specifically for. So we're going to sign up for Festival of Lights and there are a number of shifts available and you can simply sign up for the date that you're interested in. There you go. If you go to the Schedule tab, you can see your schedule if you're signed up specifically for something like light bulb testing. And then on the Hours tab, you can enter in all your volunteer hours for the VBGA in respective roles. So first you select the organization that you want to enter hours for. And in this demonstration, I'm showing someone who's volunteering for more than one organization. Then you select the organization, um, the activity that you are entering hours for. So I'm a member service office volunteer and you can either enter your hours after every shift or alternatively you can enter your hours for the quarter ending March 31st, June 31st, September 31st, and December 31st. Now if you've forgotten your shifts up until now that's okay, just enter them all in one lump sum. Now you want to enter all your hours relating to one respective volunteer role. So you want to keep your hours for your member service office role separate from that, those hours for festival lights or plant sale or guiding. But then all hours that relate to your guiding, for example, can be encompassed in one entry. So let's say you're part of um, the, the guide leadership team and you have meetings there. You go to a team meeting, you're guiding, uh, you're going to a, a, a guided garden walk. All of those hours combined can get entered as guide hours, either quarterly or after each shift if you'd rather. If you go to my profile, you can actually update your own contact details if your email address changes, your address, your phone number, you just simply go down to the respective line and enter the correct information. And then you scroll to the bottom of the page and select the Save button. Lastly, again under My Profile, there's additional information. By selecting additional information and dropping down to the VBGA, 
you can update information such as your emergency contact details right here. That's an important piece to be updated for us. So that's a quick tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I want to thank you so much for volunteering and for taking a few minutes to keep your profile up to date, signing up for opportunities. Again, in the Opportunities tab, that's also where you would sign up for volunteer socials and professional development events. And thank you. All the best. Done.